good morning everyone ladies and gentlemen i am mayav motapala a final year postgraduate resident of shankar netrada and a proud student of the cu sha postgraduate of thamic training center uh, we have gathered here as as you know today to give tribute a pay tribute to our veteran vice president shri cu sha who attained eternity on january 31st 2013 this thursday Before we start off on our day's proceedings, may we request all of you to please either switch off your mobile phones or keep them on silent mode, please. Uh, Shri C. U. Shah has been a legendary personality, a great visionary, and a philanthropist under whose aegis many institutions have taken place. Shri C. U. Shah was a man with a vision: never hurt, always help. A person who dedicated his life to the upliftment of society. social upliftment by building institutions let it be educational medical and social mainly in the district of surendranagar in gujarat but also in many other parts of the country a person of great social consciousness shri c u sha was instrumental in instituting the c u sha i bank the c u sha post graduate of thamic training center and the c u sha shankar netrale at st thomas mount not withholding himself to the cause of education alone he was a he was one person who extended assistance in all forms of calamities whether it be earthquake drought flood so as a mark of respect to the departed soul may i please request everybody to please stand up and offer a minute silence and your prayers for his soul to rest in peace Dr. T. S. Surendran, Dr. T. S. S. Our Vice Chairman, to please share few thoughts, please. Respected invitees, and uh, sad to know that uh, Mr. C. U. Shah is no more, and uh, most of the profile has been told by my earlier speaker. Sorry that my throat is not well. I thought I'll just uh, share some nostalgic pictures of our association with uh, Mr. C. U. Shah. I think uh, earlier, I think uh, late 70s itself, he used to visit Netral, and uh, I remember that one of the consultants' meeting we had uh, Abrahams and uh, Sridhar Rao and uh, Manju Kulkarni, etc. So uh, a gentleman was seen, and before that, I had seen him at the inauguration. I just uh, show the picture. So th he just uh, walked into Dr. Badrinath's room and uh, had some brief meeting. And uh, then later, I think we came to know that he was the main uh, sort of seed donor, or whatever you say. I think uh, he had the Midas touch, wherein I think uh, like. Uh, founder he may be called as the founder donor i think uh, his initial donation prompted netralia to have more and more funds coming and uh, especially to give for a institution which is just beginning i think it is amazing that how cu sha had a foresight and uh, gave this huge donation for that time I think you may have to add at least two zeros or three zeros to what he had given. We'll go through some pictures. 
This was the first picture and I was fortunate to be there on this particular function. This was 6th September 1978 at Vijay Hospital. Mr. Nagi Reddy, the owner of uh, Vijay Hospital, made arrangements just the old uh, hospital, not the new Vijay Health Center and uh, there was a lot of space behind the compound wall in front and uh, there we had a function with uh, I'm sure that Vaidyanathan also might remember, but his father was there. Vaidya Subramanian was the vice president. So that post has been taken over by Mr. C.U. Shah. And uh, that time itself he says, Postgraduate Training Center. So I'm happy that one of the postgraduate introduced. And uh, you find uh, Mr. V.D. Swami on whose name the auditorium is now named. And uh, we have our late President Mohan Rao and uh, Mr. Vaidya Subramanian, as I told you, then Mrs. Agarwal. Dr. B. Ramurthy was also there. Then Nagiridi was there. That's what I remember. This was uh, one of the function. And uh, this, I think Mr. Shah was felicitated with the friends of Netralia in the presence of uh, Mr. Murali, Managing Director of Hindu, and also Mr. Naik. I think uh, he was Chairman LNT. And also for this function, Dr. Mailwagnan was there. Mailwagnan Adrajan, who became the Vice Chancellor of MGR University. I think one of the functions, I think uh, it was 89, I think Rural Life Hospital was opened. Before that, the optometry school. So there were three Shahs actually. One first one was C.U. Shah. And uh, on his name, the postgraduate training center was started. And also, you have the, all the files, the outpatient files, and also all the prescription pads, both drug prescriptions and also the glass prescriptions were na named after this gentleman because who gave the seed money. And uh, later, I think, uh, St. Thomas Mount. We built the School of Optometry, and uh, after that, I think Rural Eye Hospital was born with this contribution. And that time, uh, our uh, late, the former, not the late, former Chief Minister Karnanidhi inaugurated. I even remember the, I think, wordings, what he wrote on the file, and uh, Mr. Siu Shah was there on the file, and momentarily, I was the master of ceremonies that time. This was another uh, happy occasion where our late uh, President Mohan Rao, then both of them resembled each other. It was another function, then I think uh, lots of times he visited, and uh, I think that this was one of the recent function. I think uh, the association dates back to, so suppose it is 78, it's almost uh, 34 years, and uh, this was just about three, four, three years back with uh, Lingam Gopal. It was again another occasion where he spoke and gave an inspiring talk to one and all, not only the postgraduates. And every time Dr. Badrinath used to make it a point to introduce him to the postgraduates, and there are some couple of photographs also. And uh, this is the right-hand man of Mr. Uh, C.U. Shaw, that is Mr. R.C. Parekh. Mr. R.C. Parekh, actually, though, because Mr. Shaw was in Bombay, he could not attend all the board meetings. And uh, he, I think I'm, from day one, I'm sure, I think Vaidyanathan will correct me if I'm wrong, must be, I think, 79 or 80, Mr. Parekh has been in the board. And he was one person who is absent only today because he had to attend for few such function at uh, Mumbai. Otherwise, he was present in all Natralia functions and uh, silent worker. And uh, he, when Sriyu Shah gave so much monetary donation, Mr. Parekh used to bring uh, corneal donation. So many eyes he has brought to Natralia. This Gujarati community always has been giving either money or ice to Netralia to help the needy. 
Well, with uh, these few words, I think uh, when uh, Surendra Nagar, I think that uh, medical college when it was started, he also sent one of the fellow in medical retina. His name also was Shah. So I know that Gujarati is either Shah or Patel will be there. So his name was uh, Shah. I don't remember his uh, first name. And uh, Bharat Shah, that's right. I think uh, Dr. Badrinath has, I think I have developed Alzheimer's. <coughs> Bharat Shah, he actually was the first medical retina person to get trained in uh, photocoagulation. That time, I think, that was just upcoming field. So with these few words, I thank one and all, and uh, may uh, God, uh, I think, uh, uh, give strength to the family to bear the shock, and uh, may his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May we now request our chief, Dr. Patinath, a cherished and a long-standing friend of Sri Siyusha, to please say a few words. Friends and Mrs. Siyusha, Friends of Shankanitralia, we are assembled here to pay homage to a great soul, Mr. Shaw, who has been a very dear friend of our institution. I'm going to make a very short speech. I'm going to make it to talk a little bit about the genesis of the organization, our institution. And <coughs> as Srinidhan mentioned, he was the founder, founder, donor of our institution. How it came about, though we may know about it, I'm going to relate it in a few words today, the first part. <clears throat> the second part is going to be my association with him, personal association and personal anecdotes. I would like to, first of all, thank all of you for having come this morning and being with us to share our grief and to pay homage to a great soul. Way back in 1977, my very dear friend, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Mani, told me that uh, there's a gentleman by name, Mr. Sue Shaw, who has come from Bombay, who is making a generous contribution to Andhra Mahila Sabha. He said, uh, you have ideas and thoughts of starting a Shankar Nitralia. Uh, non-profit organization, and Mr. Shaw is keen in making donations, contributions to non-profit organizations such as what you have in mind. So I went and met him in Savera, and as usual, as is his nature, impeccably dressed in white uh, coat and white pants, he greeted me and very warmly he talked to me. I came to know about my ideas and concepts. And he said that uh, presently you're working in Shank in Vijay Hospital, and you have indicated that uh, you probably would like to continue the Shankar Nitralia in Vijay Hospital. I would like to meet Mr. Agriti. Please arrange for a meeting. So I requested Mr. Agriti to meet Mr. C. Shaw, and they met nearly for about an hour or so, and after this, Mr. Shaw, in private, told me that uh, you won't be able to set up your ideal institution in the Vijayavakini studio complex. And uh, it is better that you have your own place. That was the most important, most important, most significant advice I had received in the founding of this institution. And I'm ever grateful to him. And he said, I shall give you 10 lakhs of rupees as a donation to your institution. The institution was not born, was not made, but even before that, he came forward, here is the seed money for you. With this, you start institution, and I would like my name to be associated with the institution which you develop. He asked me whether you would name it as Siru Shaw, Netralia. I very reluctantly said, no, sir, sorry, that name has been already uh, chosen and confirmed and agreed upon by all of us. And so I said, there is going to be a great scope for education, since your heart is also in education, in developing education institutions in Gujarat, medical colleges, etc., etc. Why don't you kindly consider naming a postgraduate training institution which we have here, which is a need of the country, named after you. 
he thought about it and he said, what will be the name? And I immediately came forward with uh, an interesting idea, Sriusha Ophthalmic Postgraduate Training Center. I told him that we get uh, ophthalmologists from all over the country, and when they get trained, they go to different parts and they'll have you to thank you for having gotten training for them in Nitralia. He accepted my suggestion, and that is how the Sriusha Ophthalmic Postgraduate Training Center was born and it has so far 450 ophthalmic postgraduate students go through the portals and practice in different parts of the country. Mr. Shaw had a personal experience of meeting a few of our former students and he was very happy that he was remembered and that these students probably said that we are from Sri Shaw Ophthalmic Postgraduate Training Center and that made him feel that the donation which he had given had been usefully, properly used. He was very happy about that. Now, later on, I'm going to show you Mr. Shaw's last visit to our institution, where I wanted him to meet our postgraduate students and meet them and see for himself that these are the youngsters who are coming up from this institution. And he spoke very emotionally on that day, on that occasion, and I'm going to show you that. And as usual, since our requirements, our needs are very large, I continuously used to pester Mr. C.U. Shaw, and he was kind enough to consider a second donation for starting the C.U. Shaw iBank. I'm very happy that the, the iBank officer, Mr. Subramaniam, is here with us, and Mr. Subramaniam is doing an exceptionally good job, and the iBank is professionally run, and we get uh, last year, I believe, 1,155 eyes to our institution. This is the largest in Chennai, largest in Tamil Nadu. Of course, LV Prasad in Hyderabad is number one in the country, and number two is ourselves. And <clears throat> nearly about 450 corneal transplants are done every year, and I would like to thank my corneal transplant team, who are also here, to pay the homage for the fantastic job which they have done for creating a professionally run, exceptionally good eye bank in our institution. I'm thankful to them and thankful to Mr. Shu Shaw for giving us the idea. <coughs> the first pair of eyes were handed over in a thermocol box to Mr. Prabhudas Patwari, who was the then governor of uh, Tamil Nadu, and that is a nice function, uh, function which I shall remember, because both of them had exceptionally good relationship and respect for each other. <coughs> the eye bank is a model eye bank, and one of the important things we need to do was, what we needed to do was to let people know that there is a need for eyes and that uh, eye donation is one of the noblest acts of a human being can do. And to propagate these ideas to the people, to make sure that they don't have misconceptions, myths like the eyes are gouged out and there'll be a big hole there, and that you'll be born with birth defects next time when you are born due to your karma. All these things, we had to have a person who could go to the society and deliver a large number of lectures. Here we have uh, Mr. Irungoville, who is with us, who has done a human service in making the number of donations which you received from a very small two-digit two figure to a four-digit figure in the matter of years. So we are thankful to him also, and thank you for coming to be the homage to Mr. Sri <clears throat> So my need continued. I requested Mr. Shaw for a donation for our rural life hospital, and many said that, oh, you're calling it rural. Why are you calling it rural? It was outside the city limits of Madras City at that time. I said, I'm right in calling it a rural eye hospital. And so he was convinced, he came forward, he came forward with a very generous donation of 25 lakhs to set up the rural eye hospital, which is functioning now in St. Thomas Mount. The idea of setting up that hospital was that that part of the city could be serviced by an institution, an institution which would also have purpose of training optometry students. Optometry, we founded about almost 28 years ago, and it is a visual science, 
and both optometry and ophthalmology are like two eyes, and uh, we need them and they need us. That's a kind of relationship. So they needed an ophthalmic hospital to have practical training in the science they were learning in the school, the Elite School of Optometry. The Elite School was actually donated again by Mr. Shaw, C.K. Shaw, uh, and, and uh, presently it is the starting point the first institution in India which has now given birth to 45 such institutions all over the country. So that's a, a very good thing which you have done and we are thankful to Mr. C.K. Shaw and also Mr. C.K. Shaw for developing a parallel unit, a hospital part of it there. So having said that Mr. Shaw has been associated with us intimately in our growth in various facets of uh, our growth in the last 34 years. Uh, let me say these uh, about Mr. Shaw and my personal experience. He was very fond of me. For some reason or other, he took a great liking for me and the work which I was doing. And as I mentioned to you that uh, he was very particular about certain things, the dress code, satirical, satire, not satire, sartorial, that's the correct word, sartorial, uh, um, liking and disliking. So we used to visit him in Savera Hotel many times, myself and my wife, and we had uh, uh, warm hospitality and exceptional good cordial relationship there. So I used to tell him as to how the hospital is progressing, how, how his projects in Chankanetra is progressing. He was always very happy, and so he had asked me to develop an institution in his native place in Gujarat. That is how the Siyusha Eye Hospital in Saurashtra, uh, Surinder Nagar, correct, Surinder Nagar, I'm forgetting you. I'm also getting Alzheimer's. So Surinder Nagar. So that was born, and like other institutions which we have, like in Gohati, in, in Jalna, we created a technical person first. Mr. Shaw is uh, very happy about my suggestion. He said, I'll select a candidate and send them to you. Mr. Shaw came here and spent a good amount of time, learned nuances of how we run the institution. He went back and a beautiful hospital was created, a building plan was drawn, and I had the opportunity of making some contribution to the building plan as well. So <clears throat> I was there at the inaugural function too. So the ophthalmic institution in, Saura, in, in Surinder Nagar bears his name and we have a close liaison or a relationship there. Uh, also, we have had uh, uh, occasions to think about various other things in, in, in bringing up ophthalmic care to the rest of the India, and uh, I sincerely hope we will be able to do that in the course of time, in the course of time. So I would like to say that uh, I have personally lost a very dear friend. Institution has lost a founder. An institution has lost a person who is responsible for what it is today. So we would like to pay our homage to him and pay our respects to him, regard to him, and convey our condolences to the family in Bombay. And I would like to thank again all the friends of Mr. Sisha who are here. Thank you all. May I re uh, please request Mr. Vedinathan to say a few words, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here before you to pay my own respects and on behalf of the institution to the departed soul of a very great man, Mr. C. U. Shah. In fact, Mr. C. U. Shah was there already when I took over as the only secretary and treasurer of Medical Research Foundation. As Dr. Badrinath and uh, Dr. Surendran said, he was one of the main donors and uh, founding father of this great institution. He was very proud and happy that an institution for which he gave practically the seed money has grown into this size. He was very, very fond of Dr. Badrinath, and he said it is because of this one man's great hard work the institution has come up, and we must all respect his mission. I had the occasion to meet him first time at Mumbai along with Dr. Badrinath when we had gone to his house in Mirin Drive. 
I was introduced to him as the Honorary Secretary. He had not attended the previous board meeting when I had, after my taking over. So he wanted some details. Fortunately, I had some papers, gave him, but he wanted some more details. A great businessman as he was, but I did not have those details. But he asked me for some percentage growth and all that, which I had. He was very happy about that. But he was particularly asking me the question, I remember very well. I am not bothered over the growth you have registered in paying patients. You tell me the, what is the growth you have registered in non-paying patients and the poor patients. At that time, it was hovering around 20 to 25 percent. Now it is nearly 50 percent. So he was very happy. He said that it must be improved. And the earlier donations he had given, I had not known. But I had an occasion to meet him. After the two or three times, he attended even two or three board meetings here. I had an occasion to meet him at Hotel Kanimara at that time, not at Severa. I went and met him. It was at the time when the Siusha Rural Eye Clinic was about to be launched at St. Thomas Mount. <coughs> he had promised to give X amount. So Mr. Mongrau, our president at the time, Dr. Badinath, myself, conversed about it because the project cost was much higher. And as Mr. Shah had expressed a desire that the building may be named after him, we were just hesitant how to make him donate more so that we will be able to name the project after him. Because we were going after for money with so many people, and some other donor is going to give more money, then we may be in a very delicate situation. So I went to him, met him at Karimara Hotel. As usual, he asked me about the details of the growth and all that. He was very happy, always he was very, very happy and proud that he was associated with an institution like Shankar Netriyala where his money has been put to good use. So he asked me, then I explained to him the project costs and how much money and all those things. So I told him, sir, if there is going to be some other donor who would be giving slightly more money, we will be in a delicate situation. So why don't you give more money. He was laughing and then said, you are a very good ambassador. You have got a knack of presenting, but let me tell you one thing. You should not take all the money from one donor and put our institution. We do not believe in that. You must, the institution must play a very great part in having their own funds. Therefore, this is the money I give him, but he increased it, I think, about two or three times and finally probably landed in 25 to 35 lakhs, I remember very vaguely now. Then he said, are you satisfied? I, do you think that you can name the building after me? I said, certainly we are going to do it. He said, look, Vaidhanathan, I am not asking for the name just to pamper myself or everybody should praise me. It is a kind of a, Shankar Nithyalaya is a brand equity. Whenever they, somebody sees the name Shankar Nithyalaya in a high hospital, people automatically get the confidence that here is a quality institution, we can go and get treated. Similarly, God has given me the great gift of giving to poor and NGOs. I have given quite a lot of institutions. When the name CU Shah is there, the public will get the conference. Okay, this is an institution which has been blessed by CU Shah, so it must be a good institution following good rules and system. Therefore, this is the reason that I am saying you need not worry if you do not cannot give. If somebody else is going to give you more money, you could take it. He said, no, sir, we have decided we will give that meme. That was another meeting that I had with him. Then he attended one or two board meetings later also, and then till about four, five, six years back, he was insisting that the minutes of the board meeting should be sent to him, and he was following the progress so well. And about two, three years back, when Mr. Shah had come last time, in fact, Mr. Parekh used to tell me, every time Mr. Shah comes to Chennai, he was very, very particular that he should visit Shankar Nitralia. So then at that time he had come and I, but after the, addressing the postgraduate students, he went to the score, then I went and escorted him. I, at the time, this building had come up and we were also looking for the donors for this building and all that. So he asked me a question. He was about to enter the car. Mr. Parekh was saying, come on, we'll go. He said, no. He insisted on a wheelchair coming out of the car. He sat in the wheelchair, went and parked himself almost near the old gate of Shankar Nitralia, had a good look at the building look left and right of the other buildings, said, I am so happy that this institution has come up so well. I was a very fortunate person to have been given opportunity by God to donate seed capital to this institution. I am very happy. Then I asked him, sir, why not you have some donation to this building? He said, this building is too huge. 
my commitments to my own institution in Surendranagar is even more huge than yours. So I am happy that you are putting up. So still, as a matter of token of his affection towards us, he did donate some money. So here was a man who was very, very particular that the money that he had earned must go back to the society. That he was very, very particular. I mean, that I need not uh, tell about that to the Gujarati community present here. Daan is a very important thing for you, and he believed in that one. Absolutely believed in that one. More, and we'll be waiting for those times. I pay my respects to Mr. Siyusha's departed soul. May his soul rest in peace and give enough strength to the family of Mr. Siyusha. Thank you. Respected elders, Dr. Badrinath, friends and well wishers of Siyusha and Shankar Nitralaya. I am here on behalf of Sri Gujarati Shaitan Jain Association with whom Mr. Siyusha had been almost as intimately associated as with Shankar Nitralaya. <coughs> like Dr. Badriyat said, it was with the seed money of Dr. Alfred Siyusha that this institute came up. Similarly, the Gujarati Shatamba Stanakasi Jain Association and Siyusha Bhavan came up with his own seed money. It has been privileged to have known him so closely and seen his way of thinking. Like Mr. Vajinathan also said, that he was a man who was always interested in the upliftment of the downtrodden and poor people. So he was very happy when we decided to start a small clinic and diagnostic center. We named it after him. It became Suyusha Clinic and Diagnostic Center that was about 10 or 11 years back. We had made a small beginning with about 10 or 12 doctors coming with all basic amenities that we could possibly provide and that all at a very, very reasonable rate, practically free of cost. And then as, we, as the time passed, we decided to have a center for alternate medicine and therapy that also on the same premises where we had about 12 or 13 different therapies being practiced with yoga in the morning, acupressure, acupuncture, sudo, garam, riki, pranic healing, homeopathy, ayurveda, naturopathy and latest panchagavya medicine. All these things have come up very well. And finally, we came up with a dialysis center where we have got nine dialysis machine going. All these departments have been named after him. Siyusha Center for Alternative Medicine and Therapy, Siyusha Center for Dialysis. The whole institute is Siyusha, Siyusha, and Siyusha. And very often we say that we take name of Siyusha more number of times in a day than we may even take the name of God. To that extent, I mean, we have got involved with him and we are very proud to have been involved with him that intimately, that closely. One thing <coughs> that I would very much like to mention about him is that he had made one condition that whenever you put up any additional activity over here in this place, the first right of denial should be mine. You come, come up with a proposal, you name the amount that you want, you give me the first chance to say whether I would like to take it or I would like to leave it to somebody else. Only if I say no, I am not interested, then only you should offer it to somebody else. Otherwise, I would like to take that chance. I would like to give my name to practically all of them. And I'm very happy to say that he has never turned down even one single request from our side for this type of proposal. Latest that we did was a look and learn schools, Siyusha school, that is 
with the blessings of our Reverend Dr. Namramuni, Reverend Namramuni, Namramuni Maharaj Sahib, that we started their school. There about 150, 60 young children are being taught basics of life. All these things became possible and we are extremely grateful to Sri Sri who had always encouraged us in all our efforts to go out and serve the society, serve the humanity. Today, when we have lost him, we have lost a founder, founder a figure, a father, a loss of whom we will very much regret and can never be filled. We are ever so very grateful to him for his ever, ever being so very kind, generous, and guide, guiding to us. Thank you so much. Dear and respected well wishers, friends, Sri Shivsa, it is my great pleasure with a tearful heart to share some information my association with the all the three institutions of CUSA I Bank, CUSA Talmec Training Center, as well as CUSA Sankranetralaya. The first and prime opportunity given by the institution to work with the CUSA I Bank. In those days, most of the eyes were received from Sri Lanka or Gujarat. In such situations, Mr. Archie Parekh, one of the trustees from the Chiefs of uh, Educational and Cultural Charitable Trust, uh, given us a very good, very excellent support how to improve to collect the human donor eyes from within the city. He take we kind, very serious effort to motivate the family members of Gujarati uh, people in Chennai city and outskirt and help us to contribute the actual donation. And of course, it was happened in 27th November 1999. There was an exclusive venue for the CU, so iBank was established in Sankarnathalaya premise, uh, situated in the Via Ramana, we are black. And that day, we had board meeting too for kind information, that day only I got the opportunity to see, uh, introduce seen the CEO saw. Then I got an opportunity to share some information how we promote and what is our plan. And he just questioned one important question. How about the support from CUSA ophthalmic, uh, support from the students of CUSA ophthalmic postgraduate training center? I just mentioned I do only the public relations job. Rest of all the functions like tissue harvesting, tissue evaluation, tissue processing and preservation. Now we started to, in those days, we started to evaluate um, endothelial cells. Almost all that is job rendered by Shiusa Ophthalmic Postgraduate Training Center students. At the, by the time, I got a nice opportunity from former CEO, Dr. K. Ravi Shankar, why we should not take care of promoting in CUSA Shankar Netralaya. We, when we started the surgical training center, uh, we had a very big team. Now my sister, Mr. Subramaniam was also accompanied with us. We started marketing. It's not marketing, it's just public health education as well as patient education. And in southern side of Chennai, southern side of uh, particularly the Kanjipuram and Chengalpad district, the team members visit various institutions, corporate bodies, as well as conducted some uh, education program on eye care. And now, I will, I'm actually happy to mention that CUSA Sankar Netralaya is providing a very excellent service to the southern part of Tamil Nadu people, uh, southern part of uh, Chennai people. So, yeah. Friends, it happened. Mr. Shiyusa was here, but now his photograph is here. In 2009, he visited here and he visited, gone through more information on how the Shiyusa I Bank 
functioning. After the lecture from our chairman as well as friends of Sri Shisha, chairman, chairman Emeritus as well as friends of Sri Shisha, I feel it was my very great pleasure to render my service with all the three institutions, Sri Shisha, I Bank, Sri Shisha Thermic Training Center, as well as Sri Shisha Shankar Netralaya, I pay the Almighty to keep the soul and rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'd like to show the video which sir spoke to the postgraduates when he came last year in 2009. Thank you. That was very enlightening, especially for postgraduates like us who never had the chance to meet him or never to see him. So getting to know him and what he's done for the institution has been really great. Thank you so much. Uh, now maybe pay our respects to our vice president by offering flowers, please. <laughs> 